Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a guitar tutorial for Rocky Trail. This is from the Kings of Convenience album, Peace or Love. Um, I've got a cover of it on my YouTube channel, so please take a look. I'll put a link in the description. Um, the guitar is in standard tuning. This is the main guitar part, so this is the nylon string guitar. Uh, standard tuning with a capo on the second fret, and it goes, sounds like this. Okay, so standard tuning. Um, so we'll do a quick play along so you can see what the tempo and sounds like. So it just repeats itself all the way through, and it's just four chords. Um, we'll talk about the timing in a second, but the four chords are, if you think about the song in E, okay, well it's an F sharp, but the couple is in the second fret, so let's just call it E. And the four chords are, that's what it sounds like, it's F sharp minor, B7, C sharp minor. Uh, but of course, Kings of Convenience never play it in the standard way, so their F sharp minor is F sharp minor 11, and it sounds like this. And the way to do that is you put your uh, finger on the 6th string 4th fret, everything's on the 4th fret, 6th string 4th fret, 4th string 4th fret, 3rd string 4th fret. You can play it like this, or you can wrap your thumb around, which is what Eric does sometimes, like this. It's the same. He uses a narrower uh, string, narrower necked guitar. It's um, it's a fusion guitar, so it's easier for him to do that. But anyone could do that for this. So is what it sounds like. Now, as I said, the rhythm is the difficult part. So let's practice the rhythm just based on the first chord. So very slow. It's going to be like this. So that's how the rhythm goes for the whole song. And the next chord is, is effectively a B7 chord, but again, um, what he's really playing is this chord, which is really an A chord, but with a B bass. So if you play an A chord and you put a B bass, you get that chord that he's playing. So the easier way to do it is to think of the F sharp minor. Keep your fingers exactly as they are and just move it down one string each. So from here, it becomes this. So this chord, um, again, all the fourth fret, fifth string, um, third string, and second string. And then this string is open. So very quickly. a little thing with his pinky so okay so practice that and then the next chord is an E chord but he plays it as an E major 9 chord uh, sorry E major 7 chord so the way to play this chord um, this chord is something he uses in, in many of the songs but it's basically on the um, ninth fret, I guess, the ninth fret. So, and then eighth fret for the fourth string, and then tenth fret for the third string. And then these two strings are open strings, so. So it's. is a C sharp minor 9 chord. I played this earlier. Sorry. C sharp minor 7. But he plays C sharp minor 9 up here. It's exactly the same chord if you think about it. 
This is C sharp minor 9, C sharp minor 7, C sharp minor 9. And the way to play that is 11th fret, then 9th fret for the 5th string, then 10th fret, sorry, <laughs> um, 11th fret for the 4th string, and 10th fret for the 3rd string. So, bow. These two are open strings. But he's really just plucking these strings. These strings. Okay, so this finger is... This note isn't really played, so it's... And so the last bit of the C-sharp minor chord, he goes... to the bridge. Uh, I think the bridge is somewhere here. Um, yes. This bridge part, um, it's G sharp minor seven. So it's G sharp minor seven. It's basically that because he's only playing these three notes. So. This is a B. It's a B suspended fourth. So B seven. But then you play instead of. Seven. I thought they would take you to the top of any road. Okay. And then again, I thought your back was strong, but I should have carried you to the top of the rocky trail. Carried you to the top of the rock. I should have carried you to the top of the rocky trail. Okay, so the chords are really all the same. G sharp minus seven, B seven suspended. F sharp minus seven and E major seven. And the last E major seven is, and then it goes back to the same four chords. Okay, and it just repeats itself. I am blind to what you showed. I am waiting to be told. I never got. And it just repeats and repeats itself all the way until the end, where you get this um, guitar solo. Ba -da -da. So that last bit comes uh, towards the end during the solo and also ends the song. So you go from C sharp minor 9, B minor 9, G sharp minor 7, back to B minor 9, G sharp minor 7, and then the very first chord that starts the song. So in sequence. So this is the last bit of the song, I think it's here on here. Okay, so um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, do let me know. But uh, good luck. <laughs>